have a cushion today. So if you're not used to using one, um, have one nearby because we'll do a couple seated poses that might be easier with one. And let's just take a breath together, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, so cleansing breath. And again. And one more. Letting the mouth gently close and breathing in and out through the nose. Make your spine nice and tall. And become aware of any sounds in your environment, any sensations. Sometimes it's this little moment that feels like we haven't even begun our practice yet. There's this little moment almost before we begin or before we tune in that can be really centering. And you can start to deepen your breath. And let your belly be relaxed so that as you inhale, the belly gently puffs and fills. And maybe you can hear your breath contracting the throat slightly. Let's bring the palms together and rub them together. And let the hands open with the palms facing forward. Picturing all of us in a circle and sending good energy, good thoughts, good intentions for each of our practice today. See them reaching each person. You're always welcome to imagine a couple extra people in this practice that you might like to receive the energy. And open yourself to receiving the energy. Good, bring your hands together at heart center, lift the heart, gazing at your third eye, inhale with me. Exhale all the way out. And inhale for the Adi Mantra. Om Nam.
and suspend this breath. Exhale, release. And come lying onto your back. We'll warm up on the back today. So I'm going to talk you through this so you can close your eyes, you can let go of trying to watch the screen and just listen to my voice. And if for some reason you don't understand um, what we're doing in these warm-ups, if there's a pose that seems confusing, just do anything that feels good. So you're on your back. And you can hug your knees into the chest and just rock them around. Allow your back to lengthen on the earth. You might notice some little tight spots in the hips. And just start to send your breath into all the little places that might be feeling this. Okay, then bring your spine to center. And keeping the knees together, let both knees fall over to the left. Coming into a little twist, you can let your arms release into a T on either side of you and let your head spill in the opposite direction of the knees. And take a few slow breaths here, inhaling and exhaling through the nose, subtle ujjayi. And begin to hear the mantra of Sat Nam on your breath, inhaling Sat, Exhaling Nam. And on your next inhale, draw the knees to center and let them fall to the other side. Hearing the mantra on your breath. And bring your knees back to center and hug each knee towards each armpit. So you can let the knees separate. Good, and this might be enough. You might stay right here and breathe. If you'd like to go a little bit deeper, then you can try to grab the outer edges of each foot with each hand. Coming into happy baby. Good, see how low you can send your mantra breath into the belly, into the pelvis and hips. And you can rock a little bit side to side here too. And when you're ready to come out, you can release the legs all the way down on the mat. OK, 
Good, and stretch the arms up over the head, interlace the hands, turn them inside out, reaching over the head and pointing down through the toes, you're getting super long. And bring the hands underneath the head and neck like a little basket. And then bend your knees so that your knees are pointing up to the sky and the soles of your feet are on the ground in front of each sitting bone. Good, and we'll take a few yogic sit-ups here just to strengthen and open our navel point. So this point just below the belly button. So inhale with me here, you're still laying down. And then as you exhale, begin to curl the head, neck, and shoulder blades up off the floor. Good, and then inhale, lowering them back down. Exhaling to curl up, belly button draws towards the spine. Inhaling to curl down. One more. The next time that you lower down, release your arms by your sides. Pressing into your feet, inhale and lift the hips up to the sky. As you exhale, slowly lower the hips back down, just taking a few pulses. Inhaling to rise, exhaling to lower. And whenever you feel ready to hold bridge pose, you can inhale and lift the hips and hold the hips high. You're welcome to inch the shoulder blades and the hands towards each other underneath the back. Good, and take a few deep breaths here. You're really opening the whole front side, the eastern side of the body. In this pose, inhale with me, hold the breath, lift more bond, pelvic floor. Exhale, lowering down. Let the arms release by the sides and let the knees rock side to side. Little windshield wipers. And draw the knees into the chest, tucking the nose in towards the knees. And we're going to rock up and down on the spine a few times, coming to seated. Beautiful. You can sit on a cushion if you like. So our first few poses are seated. We're doing the Kriya for elevation today. So 
So we've done this one before. It's a great Kriya to repeat, maybe once a week or once a month. Good, okay, we're all seated. Reach the arms up 60 degrees. Bring your fingers into the very first mounds of your hands and reach your thumbs up to the sky. Good, and then find that position for your neck where the back of your neck is long and your chin ever so slightly draws a little bit in towards your neck. Good, and let's begin breath of fire, panting like a dog through the nose. If breath of fire doesn't feel right for you today, just choose long, deep breathing, slow inhales and exhales through the nose. Whatever breath you choose, try to gaze inwardly at the crown of your head. Good, try to keep that awareness at your crown. We're building light there. Twenty seconds, keep it going. Inhale deeply, bring your thumb tips to touch, stretch your fingers up, lift your pelvic floor, get even taller. Slowly exhale, let your straight arms open out and down. Sit tall as your fingertips touch the earth or your legs. And just notice your space. Deep in your breath, inhaling and exhaling through the nose with your mantra, Satnam. And bring your hands to your shins. I like to take the cushion off to the side for this one. Inhale as you reach your heart center forward. Keep your chin level with the ground. Exhale as you reach the back of the heart back. Good, you can start slow. And then as the spine gets a little bit more supple, you might speed it up. I invite you to close the eyes. Let energy build with the movement. 
This is a meditation. This is a breathing exercise. Let it do its work on you. Go as fast as you comfortably can. Last 10 seconds. Inhale deeply, spine gets long. Invite the energy from the pelvic floor up through the crown. Exhale, relax. Inhale with me, reach the arms out and up. Exhale, bend the elbows, bring your fingers in front of the shoulders, thumbs behind. Elbows stay lifted, don't let them droop down. Inhale as you twist to the left, let your head fall up. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center, gather your energy, lifting it up. Exhale, release. Come back to that moment of holding space for each other. Let your legs release out long. Just circle the ankles a little bit. And point your toes. And flex your feet. So we're going to keep the feet flexed. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Keep a nice straight spine as you exhale, reaching forward for the shins, ankles, or big toes. Holding on to something. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, belly folds first, then the heart, then the head. Inhale, you roll up, head follows last. 
Exhale, belly folds first, then the heart, then the head. Keep it going. It'll feel a little bit like a wave. Allow your breath to inspire the wave of the spine. Beautiful. Taking a few more. There's a lot happening here. The backs of the legs are opening. The spine is getting more supple. And as our spine gets more supple, more flexible, it gets stronger, more able to handle stress. Let this be your last one. Inhale into the upright position. Lift the pelvic floor, energy rising. And now exhale all the way out as you fold. Hold the breath out. Lift more bun. Inhale to relax and release. Bring your right knee out to the side so the sole of your foot is touching your left thigh. This is a modification. So feel free to come into this. This feels comfortable. Feel free to stay here. If you'd like to go into the full expression of the pose, then you can sit on your right heel and your knees are together. Okay, so either one, it will still work. Okay, let's inhale the arms up. Keeping that flat back as you gently fold, find something to hold onto, either the leg or the toes. If possible, you can wrap your first two fingers around your big toe and press into the big toe now. Good, inhale with me, get nice and tall. Exhale, folding, and then stay in the fold with breath of fire. Again, you can always keep long, deep breathing instead. Inhale deeply. Like you're gathering energy that you've created and then hold the breath and lift the pelvic floor. You're directing that energy up the spine through the crown. Exhale. 
Exhale all the way out. Hold the breath out, lift the pelvic floor. Inhale, release. Exhale, other side. The knee can either be out or the foot is underneath you. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, stretching forward as you bow down. This leg might feel different. So hold on to wherever is comfortable for you. With your hands holding on, inhale, get longer again. Exhale, bowing, good. Let the head release. Breath of fire. Inhale deep, lift. Exhale all the way out, lift the pelvic floor. Inhale, release. Let your legs open wide. Let your hands rest on the legs. If possible, you're welcome to hold on to the big toe of each foot. If that feels like too much, then make it a little less um, intense by bringing the hands to the legs. Inhale here. And then exhale, gently turn your heart towards that left leg. And from the hip, you're folding a little bit towards the left leg. It might feel kind of subtle. Good. And then inhale to center. And exhale, you're turning towards the right leg and folding. Good, keep it going. Inhale, center, exhale towards the leg. And you'll really feel it from the hip and the waist. Come back to your mantra if you lost it. You're also welcome to close the eyes. Feel this from the inside. Beautiful, slow it down a little bit.
And the next time you come to center, we're going to fold towards center. Inhaling to rise, exhaling towards center. Try to keep your toes pointing up towards the sky. They'll have a tendency to fall forward. The next time that you come forward, stay here and inhale. Exhale all the way out. Hold the breath out. Inhale to rise up. You can take your hands underneath your knees and just one at a time, help them up. Good. And then release your legs out long and come onto your belly and just rest on the belly for a moment. Start to integrate this theme of truth. So each time that we take a breath with that mantra satnam, which means truth I am, we're peeling away the layers of the onion that are not our true self. And we get closer to that truth within, whatever that may be. Yoga is a very cleansing, a very purifying practice. And so whether or not you realize a sense of truth inside at this very moment, it will work on you. Let's come up onto the forearms. We're preparing for cobra. So coming into sphinx pose, just let your body acclimate to this back bend. Closing the eyelids and gazing at your third eye center, you can imagine a light like a star at your third eye. We also have a truth within ourselves as we practice, a truth of listening to the body, doing what feels right. You're welcome to stay here in Sphinx or bring the hands where the elbows were on either side of the rib cage and press them down into the earth. Press your legs down into the earth and then start to glide your shoulders back and down as you press into the hands and lift your heart up towards the sky. Breath of fire.
Keep going. You can always take a break, get a little bit lower for a few breaths, and then come back in. Inhale deeply. You can gaze up as you lift more bund. Stay here. Exhale all the way out and lift more bund. Inhale very slowly, lower down and relax on the belly. If you were to let go of your pieces of your identity, like your profession or whether you're a parent or not, or what you believe in, if you let go, of those pieces of identity, then who are you? Gently make your way to seated. You can pass through tabletop. And just let your hands rest on the legs. Coming into shoulder shrugs, let's shrug off any pieces of ourselves that are not our truth. And you don't have to know what that is. We're probably not going to, but just having the intention can be helpful. So nice long spine, engage your navel point a little bit so that your torso stays fairly still. And then inhale, shrug the shoulders up to the ears, exhale, let them drop. And it's powerful and fast. Shrugging off anything that doesn't serve you, anything that isn't your truth. Sometimes in life, we have to try different things on to find out what feels right, what suits us, what's our truth, what isn't. Sometimes we don't know until we try it. Good, see if you can go a little faster. Ten seconds. Inhale, squeeze them up. Squeeze your whole spine. Inhale, even more, squeeze. Exhale, let them drop. Feel a sense of radiance.
And slowly let your head roll in big circles. It says to start clockwise. And then take a few counterclockwise. And bring your head to center. We'll come into Sat Kriya, the last piece of this Kriya. So you are welcome to stay seated like this and bring your left pointer finger and thumb together. Let them rest on the knee and just reach your right arm up. This is a great variation for Sat Kriya. Okay, so you can relax that for now, but know that you can stay right here and come into this position in a moment. And if you prefer to sit on the shins, then you can come into rock pose and interlace all of your fingers except for the pointers, okay? Women, your left thumb is on top, right pinky on the bottom. Men, it's the opposite right thumb on top, left pinky on the bottom, okay? Bring it up over the head, you're like a temple. And we'll chant Sat Nam, drawing the navel in on Sat, releasing it on Nam. Close the eyes, gazing at your third eye center, starlight at the third eye. Inhale to begin. Sat Nam, 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 Sat, 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 Nam Sat 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 
नाम सत 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 इन हेल इनवाइट एनर्जी अप द स्पाइन स्ट्रेचिंग ऑल द वे अप थ्रू द पॉइंटर फिंगर्स stay here exhale all the way out hold the breath out and stretch up squeezing energy up inhale to release And come lying on the back in shavasana we'll be going over by a few minutes today so feel free to if if you need to you can come into shavasana and then leave the meeting and just stay as long as you like or you can stay with me and we'll probably go about 6 or 7 minutes over let your palms face up and let everything go just allow the energy of the practice to circulate and settle
stay in Shavasana as we close. Or you can make your way through the process of coming out as I sing you the long time song. together at the heart, honoring the truth of the body, truth of the mind, and the truth of the soul. The light in me honors the light in you. Remembering the sameness that we share, Satnam.